Hey, since we haven't had any clear skies for the last couple of months now, I finally decided to reprocess some old data of M57. In fact, one of my first YouTube videos uh, of this channel uh, was about this object. I will try, of course, only with the DSLR to visually indicate the location of this nebula. The ring nebula M57 lies in the constellation of Lyra. The glowing ring of gas is the result of the death of a sun-like star. It has a quite complex shape. I think I will try to capture this crazy ring nebula with my DSLR. Why not? Easy. Okay. Faint object. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Here are some older images of M57. For example, from Isaac Roberts. Or this drawing from 1874. During the first approach to image this object, I used my Canon EOS M50, a very cheap and unmodified DSLR camera, using a kit lens, and I produced this image. And if you zoom in, you can see some faint object in the middle here, and this is M57 indeed. For my next more advanced approach, I used a better telescope, a Maxitov telescope with 1500mm focal length and this 385MC dedicated astrocam. And this looked like this. Since this is a very faint object, my telescope had really problems to get enough signals, especially with this uncooled uh, astrocam. Very pixelated and noisy, very noisy image. Before I used PixInside, I used a GIMP to process my images. And that was really the max I could get from this data. I tried again with the same data and I was able to get this image. I think that's really not bad for such bad data, I have to say. And then I tried again using my Skywatcher Explorer 200 PDS. Here you can see again the location of this object on the constellation of Lara. There's a red or reddish light beam that's an artificial light uh, source from the park. And after first image processing using PixInsight only, I created this image. I was really happy with it. And then a couple of months later, I touched the data again and used Blur Exterminator. And here's the result. Blur Exterminator will not just decrease the size of your stars, but will also sharpen your image, as you can see here. I think that's really impressive what AI can do uh, in terms of image processing here. What do you think? Are you using Blurex Terminator as well? I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching and see you next time here, guys. Hopefully.